Okay, so there seems to be a few things happening here. You know, I feel like you're very set on a path right now that you're very passionate about, that you're very clear about. You're putting forth work. You're balancing out your, your life, your relationships. You're becoming very clear. And through this process, you're developing a tremendous amount of faith that maybe you didn't really have before. You could be developing in philosophical or sp spiritual matters, understandings, or you could be taking on higher education. There could be a level of mentorship. Excuse the... Excuse the... I don't know if you can hear the noise or not, but it's noisy out there right now. Um, so you, you may be learning something or developing in something, or it could just be taking on higher levels of commitment in your life, higher levels of devotion, um, whether it be to your work or your, you know, life's purpose kind of thing, or even just your relationships. Now, I feel like there is a touch of anxiety um, that is probably coming from a past scenario. Um, you also may have people sort of holding on to confusion. And, you know, for this to be observed or, or you know, there's anxiety around a choice that you make in some kind of way, you be, because it seems like you're becoming a lot more open with how you feel, who you are, and what you contribute to this world. And that can indeed provoke anxiety and even envy, bitterness, things like this, and the outside influences, particularly with people that you've maybe left behind or outgrown or have sort of evolved past, you know, when you spark up insecurities in people, they do strange things. They, you know, project, you know, their own insecurities onto you. They gossip, they do all kinds of things. Um, so I don't know, you may even receive a level of criticism or judgment for a path that you have chosen to take in some way but I wouldn't let it concern you. It seems like there might be some anxiety around that, um, but I, I really wouldn't be concerned. Nice. You know, and I feel like you're working through a lot of past wounds. You're working through perspectives that have really sort of caused you a lot of pain or you know this you're, you're sort of refocusing your mind towards what makes you happy and enjoying you know your day-to-day -day life enjoying your relationships enjoying your work you know I feel like you've gained a lot of clarity and you maybe have set certain boundaries um you know, there's a level of defending your position here, especially in, um, you know, in your advice. So, it, you know, whatever those out of date cups are that you're walking away from, be them people, be, be it habits, be it addictions, be it codependencies, you know, whatever you're sort of dropping the burden of to elevate your life and progress to the next chapter, you know, set that boundary without fear. Really feel empowered by that because you should be proud of it. You, you've, you've elevated to a, a new chapter in your life that is going to bring about a lot of joy. And I don't know, I, I kind of get the impression of someone trying to gather information in some kind of way. Um, but again, this, you know, they can just, you know, mind their own damn business. Um, it's sort of the unseen, the scary that burdens you, right? Because the moon 
it does talk about the intuition in a lot of ways, but it also very much talks about fear being provoked, the unknown path ahead, the shadowy path. You know, um, we, we got into this on the last one, I think. You know, so really just lean into that and trusting your direction because I, it kind of seems like you're getting towards the end of this. Um, and you know, what is, when, when you begin to operate with clarity and authenticity, when you're really living your absolute truth, and with no ill intentions or any bullshit clouding your vision, it's bound to go right. And you know, when God or spirit or universe or whatever you want to call it is involved, it will not fail. And you know, that kind of energy feels very present here. And make sure you're, you're giving equally to all the different aspects of your life that are important. Don't neglect anything. Um, because it's all worthy of its, of its due attention, you know, so don't get too wrapped up in, in one thing and sort of lose sight of things. Okay. Um, but I think that that's going to get a lot easier now because I feel like you're going to become a lot less distracted.